Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 2306 that says naming a company. So here you are given one array of string name is ideas and with this help of ideas you want to name a company right and the process of naming a company is as follows that uh, you need to select two distinct names from the ideas let's say means uh, two distinct uh, words from this idea uh, ideas list further you need to swap all the first character of both the words okay. You just need to swap only first characters. So let's say if you took uh, coffee and donuts, then you swap first characters. So the words become uh, like this coffee and conuts. Okay. And further, if both the new names are not found in the original ideas. So that means that this coffee and conuts are unique. Means they are not there in these ideas. Then what we can do, we can concatenate them with a space in between. And it is a valid company name. And we can count that as a valid company name. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and we need to return the number of distinct valid names for a company. So yes, we will discuss this question in, uh, the, by forming the uh, intuition first and then uh, approach and then we will go to the coding part. So yeah, before moving ahead, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps me to get motivated to make daily videos like this every day. So yeah, now let's begin uh, by understanding the test cases. So here you have uh, this uh, idea list that contains coffee, donuts, time and toffee. So the first uh, uh, two words we have selected is coffee and donuts. We swap the first characters. So they become Doffy and Conuts, right? They both are unique. This Doffy name is also unique and this Conuts is also unique. They are not present in this ideas list. So yeah, this is one valid company name. Got it? Similarly, donuts and coffee. The reverse thing is also the same. Okay. Now, uh, donuts and time. This is also one uh, our valid answer. Donuts and toffee, time and donuts. So these are all the valid answer. Make sure you go through it. But now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the invalid answer in this ideas list. Okay. So if you take coffee and toffee, something like this. So you can, you, uh, now what you do, you swap the first character C with T. Then the, uh, if you swap with the coffee, then it will uh, be coffee itself. And if you swap with toffee, it will be toffee. So yeah, that's not a valid answer because the coffee and toffee, they are not unique here in this ideas list. So we can, we can't count them. Okay. So I hope you guys uh, understood the uh, uh, question. Similarly, that similar thing goes with uh, coffee and time. If you replace the first character of coffee with tea, then uh, it would form toffee and that's not unique. So it will, uh, it won't be uh, possible uh, to swap uh, with time. Another thing is time and toffee, right? They both uh, contain tea on swapping them. We won't get any new numbers, correct? So that, that's why this is not a valid combination. So yeah, uh, we need to find something like this, some distinct company names uh, that can be possible. Okay. So if you take a look at this uh, second example, lack and back. So if you swap the first character, we get something like back here and something like lack here and they both are not unique. So if we have some, this same example, if we have time, toffee. Uh, so if you swap the first character, then it, this will become uh, this will still remain as a time and this will still remain as a toffee. This is unique. No, this is unique. No, so it is not valid answer. Okay. Now one other, another thing to note here is if you have something like coffee and toffee. Now here, apart from first character, this substring is the same repeated. Okay. As you can see here, this O double F E is repeated. O double F E is repeated. Then now swapping them, this will be, this will be toffee and this will be coffee. Now again, this is not a valid answer, correct? So when what whenever you can see here that uh, if the first uh, character is same, then also it's not valid answer. If the substring, the afterward substring is same, then also it won't be a valid answer. Okay. Now from this, what you, uh, what you can do? Uh, see, one approach to solve this question is using two for loops. First for loop from i, from one to n. Okay, and second for loop from one to n. Okay, one to n. And what you can do, you can swap the first character and check. First character swap. And then a check uh, if that uh, string or, or the new string that are formed is they are present or not in the original idea list. And on that and afterwards you can uh, calculate the number of valid possible uh, ideas. Okay. So this is one possible approach. We're using two for loops. First for n and second for n. So but what would be the time complexity here? See the time complexity here would be big of n square okay and, uh, and in order to check whether the new idea produced is present in the original list or not so for that you will use map right and it would be big of n space complexity but this time complexity is very 
very large and we can reduce that how but how so how we will reduce this time complexity uh, we will discuss now so so what one thing to note here is this let's say coffee the first word is coffee now what different variation are possible it can be a o double f e b o double f e okay and up to zero double f e right because uh, because what there are 26 characters so 26 characters so 26 possible uh, variations of this word okay that we can form by just replacing the first first character now what we will do is see uh, we will take one dp okay dp of i j and uh, it will store either zero or some value and we will initialize it to with zero so we what this dp of ij will represent that uh, if a ith character is swapped with the jth character that means here c is swapped with a then is does this produce unique uh, unique string that is not found in this ideas list is this unique or not if unique then what we will do we will do dp of i j plus plus correct as simple as that and if not unique then we won't increment so this dp of i j would be the size of 26 26 because there are 26 characters here and we can uh, means all the 26 characters can be swept by 26 characters like a c can be swept by a then b then z and similarly other other words okay, other words starting from d t we can also swap that by 26 means this would be the size of this dp and where what dp of ij represent that uh, if you can you swap the i character with the j character and after swapping does this perform a unique uh, unique uh, name of idea or not okay now what what more you have to do that let's say if you have co swap coffee with a then you want something with a where you can swap with c right you also need dp of j i right so it's as simple as that let's say if you have this coffee and if you have swapped with donuts let's say if you have swapped uh, so initially what you do you may coffee you one variation of coffee would be doffy now in order to make this a valid a valid uh, idea list you need some word that starts from d as well okay so that with which you can swap them correct so you pick donuts so that means what what is that that is d of j i correct so you also need to find uh, if d of j i dp of j to i is also greater than one or not okay so what we will be doing here is that uh, for each word we will uh, check if dp of i j is unique or not if unique then we will do plus plus okay so similarly so let so for so for coffee where one variation would be toffee and for that variation we won't do plus plus because that is already present yeah and if all the other variations are not present so we are doing plus plus so this is dp of c uh, with all the characters from a to z dp of ij the first uh, root start uh, for i and the second for the g now uh, we will uh, there is some other dp possible like ij okay where i would be d okay and j would be character from a to z so here uh, and we will also check for if they are unique or not for all the combination of j for this uh, d so here d is only one word that it is there that starts with that is donuts correct now for this d uh, and so so let's say we have calculated dp of ij for c and d and then uh, for all the valid answer what we will do dp of ij into dp of j i what does this mean this means that uh, i can be swept with j and similarly j can be swept with i okay and now this and what this will be this will give all the uh, our answer that all the characters are the words in here with the character c let's say this is cd and this is dc uh, we can swap with d means uh, it's, this will give all the relation right cap uh, so here the words are co co coffee cap and donuts so we will find all the relations here got it and this we are multiplying so let's say uh, see there are many other all the combination are there like uh, c dp of c and b is also one so you might tell that this is also one but is that dp of bc no this is zero so on multiplying this cb with bc you will always get zero so of all the only answer that we will get is valid answer right like uh, coffee donuts and donuts coffee now cab and donuts and donuts and cab yeah so only what we will get only we will get valid answer so as you can see here that dp of cd here is 
it, this would be 2 and dp of d d2c would be 1 because there is one donut yeah uh, and uh, we can uh, swap this d with c right there is no other word starting from d so here what we will get we will get 2 now uh, since we will run a for loop we'll also get something like uh, 1 to 2 that will also give you two answer this is the reverse like uh, coffee and donuts and donuts and coffee they both are possible answer so this would be one one way, means this is one way and you will another get dp of dc into dp of cd right this will also you will get by swapping this and swapping here as well so this so total answer for c and d possible would be four and this is how we will all at the end what this dp will store this dp will store only valid valid swaps right so i hope you guys understood this that what we are trying to do here is that for all like for all the words uh, coffee, cap, donuts. We are trying to swap with A to Z all letters, correct? Uh, and if uh, on swapping them DP of IJ, uh, let's say that I is swapped with a J, then it forms unique. Then we are doing plus plus, and in the end we are just multiplying them. Simple as it is. So now let's move on to the coding part where we will uh, talk for each of this in detail. So uh, here, firstly, what we need to do, we need to take one map, right? One ordered map. Of string int let me name it as m m for map now for auto i of ideas what we will do we will simply uh, do m of i plus plus now we will take a, a dp of size 26 26 uh, but let me take it as a vector so that i can initialize it easily vector vector int dp of size 26 comma vector int of size 26 comma 0 now what we will do we will traverse for all the words i is equal to 0 i is less than ideas dot size i plus plus now let's say string current equal to ideas of i okay and uh, character ch equal to current of 0 that is the first character we are storing here now what we are doing we are doing uh, traversing from i equal to 0 up till 26 uh, sorry let me name it as j is equal to 0 j is less than 26 j plus plus and we are taking one uh, let me name it as character 1 and here character character 2 equals to j plus a simple means uh, we are just uh, converting this integer 0 to 26 to a to z okay now what we will do we will check if uh, m dot find temp uh, also what we will do we will simply make temp of 0 equal to character 2 means we are just uh, replacing this temp of 0 with the first character uh, sorry not temp with this current current word we are just replacing that with the first character uh, and this equals to m dot end that means on replacing them that is uh, no means if you replace that with the i correct with the jth character uh, then there is no such word that means that word is unique and what you can take is dp of character 1 minus a that is the ith character and the jth character is the j itself plus plus simple thing that i told you so what is this we are running this loop for n and this is 26 so our time complexity reduced from n square to n into 26 26 is constant here correct now what we will do uh, we will take one answer variable long long answer equals to zero and another thing here is we will run a loop from 0 to 26 i plus plus and inside also we will run a loop from 0 to 26 j plus plus and here what we will simply do is we simply make answer plus equal to dp of ij into dp of ji that means i th uh, character can be replaced by j j character can also be replaced by i correct and these both are greater than uh, 0 then we will get some answer correct and in the end we will simply return answer okay now let me try to run this m dot find oh, okay it's current so as you can see that uh, the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this so guys as you can see that our code got accepted uh, so yeah i hope you guys understood this that what we are doing here is for each word we are trying to swap with all a to z characters right and uh, yeah yeah and then we are storing the dp of ij plus plus if uh, on swapping with any of the character makes a unique word right 
and in the end we will only get all the valid possible answer okay as we have discussed here cd and dc and if uh, and and you might get confused that we are also initializing the dp of cb plus plus let's say it's 21 but there is no there is no word starting from b possible so dp of b and c would be zero so in that case this would be zero right so i hope you guys understood the intuition the intuition was that instead of uh, traversing for all the words and doing big o of n square our intuition was simple that why to traverse for all the words because each word first character can be replaced by only the alphabets from a to z these are the only valid valid possible swaps okay so that's why we, there is no need to traverse for all the uh, words and doing big of n square time complexity. So that's was a, our intuition. And finally, we took this DP array and store if it is possible to swap ith character with the jth character. And yeah, the, since we are running this uh, two for loops, so we will cover ith uh, swapping this C with D as well as swapping this D with C. Means um, this do Doffy conus and also conus Doffy. This two would will be covered here. So yeah, all the test cases uh, will be covered if you go with this approach. So I hope you guys understood the approach as well as code for this question. Uh, and if you're still any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. And also to, now talking about the, the complexities, the time complexity would be big of n into 26, right? So overall, you can say it is big of n because this 26 is constant and the space complexity would be big of n. So here n is the number of words or the uh, length of this ideas array. See, this is this won't be count means yeah you can count this in the space complexity but this is the constant space of size 26 into 26 so yeah uh, this will uh, uh, so overall you can say generally that time complexity would be big of n because inner loop is uh, a fixed size and this loop is also a fixed size 26 and space complexity would be big of n because you are using one map here so yeah that's all for time and space complexity so yeah i hope you guys understood uh, the the equation as well as the approach and if you have still any doubts, then do let me know in the comment section. Also, you can give the feedback of my teaching style that what, where, what and where can I can improve. So yeah, uh, do share your views in the comment section. Also, do check out the community section where I'm regularly posting the job opportunities that are available on daily basis. So make sure you check that out. Also, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.